Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to jump into a new world tip that I think everybody should really know and understand before really taking advantage of the town board or the town projects. So one thing to keep in mind is, you know, we are going to continue to do these kind of quick tips, massive tips, depending on if they're really just quick tips or, you know, need to know tips. And I would say this one's more of a quick tip, kind of a tip that uh, will guide you along through the game. When you're trying to gain that XP, you're going to go to the town board project uh, or town board and, you know, see all these town projects. And you're going to see a lot of different opportunities to gain experience. So whether it's 100 raw hide, 40 rugged leather you know, 50 iron ingots, there are going to be a ton of different things, whether it's refining or gathering based. The ones you're going to want to focus on, in my opinion, in my experience, is going to be the ones that require not just gathering, not just refining, but also crafting. This way you are going to be leveling up through the gathering, you're going to level up through the refining, and you're also going to level up through the crafting. Going to be leveling all of those different professions as well. So the big ones to focus on in that kind of case or scenario is going to be weapon smithing, like here where we have forge and deliver bruising iron armaments. We also have uh, armor smithing, so set of unyielding crude iron armor. And they might not always give you a ton of XP depending on how hard they are to craft, but this one over here for example, gives you 7,390 just for forging and delivering ransacking star metal armaments. So this is very, very, you know, helpful to really understand that, you know, going through and gathering does give you XP. Going through and refining gives you XP. And then going and crafting as well as turning in gives you XP as well. So do not waste your time on getting these acquire and deliver, you know, 40 star metal ingots because you can do more with that. You don't have to do these harder quests that are just gathering or just refining unless you really, really want to. For the most part, like I said, I stick to the cooking like 10 energizing travel rations because you gather the cooking ingredients, you cook, and obviously if you need them or you don't need them, uh, you can actually turn them in or you know sell them on the market. So it's up to you if you want to experience your gold in that way. But you know for the most part, like I said, you go through the full process, get your experience from gathering, get your experience from refining, get your experience from crafting or cooking or whatever you're doing. Um, you know, get all of that experience and then turn it in and get that uh, you know full experience train or full experience path there. And that's kind of what I'm trying to go through today. And, you know, another thing to note, guys, is the only other town projects I usually pick up with this new update, obviously, by the way, guys, previously you wanted to turn everything in. It was unbelievable how fast you could get to level 60. But now with, you know, all these nerfs they've done, it's not worth just grabbing and doing the gathering quest, the refining quest in most cases, unless it's a very, very small amount for a lot of XP. And you can kind of... Uh, you know, check the XP rates and uh, check the amount you need to really decide that on your own. But the searching, explore, and find progress quests are very, very solid as well. These are going to be on your way to a lot of side quests. They may even be sometimes the exact same. So you can actually get sometimes the same town project. I think they did patch that over. But like the, for the most part, guys, if you are running through to doing different side quests or you're doing different faction missions in this territory anyway, in this case, Weaver's Fen, you're going to have a lot of opportunities to, like I said, jump through and uh, really take advantage of these explore and finds as they give you some great XP, some great territory stamps. And just like I said, huge opportunity. So I want to say, you know, this is just a quick tip, just kind of giving you guys my understanding on what you should be doing with town projects. You know, it depends, obviously, if you guys own the town to do all of these projects. Like if you want to upgrade gates to tier two, maybe you want to do these projects in the top right because you want to help your, uh, you know, you want to help your settlement out as much as possible. So it's going to depend on what you're really focused on at that point in time. I just wanted to give you guys, like I said, my quick tips today. Thanks again for tuning in. And there's going to be a lot more content where that came from. So I'll see you guys. Hopefully a lot in this next two weeks while we get ready for New World MMO's full release. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.